Hey everyone, this is the Traveling Tacos. This weekend, I am in Palisade, Colorado doing something that has been on my Colorado bucket list for quite some time. We are going to be biking the Fruit and Wine Byway. Palisade is situated right along the Colorado River, so there's about 25, 30, 35 wineries over here. Super unbelievably excited for this. We're gonna go rent bikes, try to hit as many wineries as we can, and not drink too much wine so that we can't bike home. Okay, I just picked up my bike from the Rapid Cycle Company here in downtown Palisade. Um, I went for the e-bike option because I'm going to meet my friends. I'm the only one that needed a rental. I need to bike about a mile and a half to get them, and that means I'll also have to bike back downtown to drop it off. So I chose the easy route, a more expensive route, but I picked an e-bike, and I'm really excited to see how fast I get this baby to go. <laughs> my hat. Ugh, lost my hat. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, got going a little too fast there. This is so beautiful. All these houses out here are like super quaint. Everything's blooming. <sighs> this is the second week of June. It's June 10th. Oh man, this is beautiful. I'm so excited to meet up with my friends. The first winery we are going to is called the Red Fox Cellars. It was like a mile and a half outside of town. I am almost there. These orchards or vineyards, I guess, are so pretty. Oh, look at this. Woohoo! Made it to the first destination, Red Fox Cellars. I'm so excited to check it out. Thank you, I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. And this is on an old Dodge Dart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and um, same thing. I actually got an orange creamsicle cider. Not one. I'll have to stop in my turn.
We went from wineries to breweries real fast. We'll see how this goes. We might have only made it to three, four stops on the fruit and wine byway here in Palisade. Three were wineries, one was the Palisade Brewery. After that, I had to call it quits. <laughs> we knew we weren't gonna make it all 30, I mean, obviously, but had a call it quits, got a little hot, but had some really good froses. Our favorite of the three we went to was the Carboy Winery. That place's views were just unbelievable, and their mixed peach and sangria frozen drink was unbelievable but anyways it is um about 100 degrees outside so when we went from one cluster on the map to the other we got really hot it was like a mild bike ride and i'm just kind of done so i returned my bike it had to be returned at five o'clock anyways and uh yeah lived up to all my expectations all the wineries were so pretty uh, everybody was super friendly and uh, yeah it was a blast I will definitely have to come back do this all again stay in an actual B&B right next to one of the wineries or on one of the winery properties and then either take a horse-drawn carriage ride or a limo or a pedicab tour where somebody can actually explain a little bit to us like I said I've got like 30 25 more to check off only made it to a quarter of them or a tiny tiny bit of them i'll be back palisade i love you this like desert vibe is my favorite <sighs> great weekend Jesus.